si sabes que tienes una granja y quieres que sea un lugar exitoso, tienes que invertir porque lo que tú les das a ellas, te lo van a regresar. La tecnología es muy útil. Estamos leyendo en ella. I think in the end of the day, all the technology is just a mean to an end. It's not a goal. The goal, in, the, the goal eventually is to make uh, better farming, produce better money, produce better, uh, better margins, and uh, with better welfare and health of, uh, of the animal. Avamilk is a global company founded more than 40 years ago in Israel. It provides milk producers with optimal and innovative technical solutions for the management of their herds and farms and for the profitable production of quality milk. The climate conditions in Israel are far from being optimal. Cows don't like hot weather, hot and humid weather. And here we have plenty of hot and humid weather during the summer and oftentimes even in the winter. Uh, so for us to develop in Israel a practice where we can make dairy farmer and be successful was the first step. When they started, the performance of the cows improved remarkably. They thought, well, if they had triumphed there, why couldn't they do so in other places of the world where climate conditions are even better? the company began to expand with great success. Most of the farms in Israel use this technology and currently 95% of the business takes place outside of Israel. Uh, our solution are focusing on the two, I would say, most painful or most potential uh, issues in the farm. Uh, number one is automation, being able to do more things automatically without manual labor and manual mistakes. And second is management. So technologically, you can say we are kind of internet of things for cows. We even call it internet of cows. To do that right, you need to know a lot about the profession. And you need on a daily basis to get inside information about how cows feel, how much time they rest, when they need to get pregnant, how much milk they produce, whether to keep them in the farm or cull them out, uh, and to feed them right. When I was a kid, I grew up in a small dairy farm in Israel, in a village known for its dairy production. And we were in the late 70s and the early 80s, like the dairy farming practice in Colombia and most of the countries in Latin America. That means relatively small farms. You knew each and every individual cow by its name and how she feels. You touched it, her and you could tell and treat her by your feeling, by knowing her almost personally. But what happened in the last 40 years is that dairy farms are becoming bigger and bigger. They become more and more efficient. The competition is much more difficult and dairy producers, dairy farmers, need to learn and use technology in order to improve. So when you have a 300, 400 cow dairy, you need technology for you to be able to know each and every individual cow and make decisions. We start from the bottom layer, which is the sensors. We have sensors on the animals that are monitoring the animal behavior. We have sensors in the milking parlor that are monitoring the milk, the milk and the milking process itself. Uh, above the sensors, we have a layer of uh, management, uh, management software that can help the, the farmer with smart decision supporting using artificial intelligence algorithms, analyzing all the data that is streaming from all the hundreds or sometimes thousands of cows in the, in the farm. We know um, immediate if the cow is sick or if she's in a heat, she's ready for insemination. 
Uh, if uh, she started to develop some um, mastitis or, uh, or if she's just uh, in fever, we follow the activity of the cow and also the, um, the color of the milk, the fat rate, the protein rate, the ratio between fat to protein. We get all, all the details, all the, um, all the, the details we get immediately. Uh, if it's the activity from the calf, uh, or if uh, it's during the milking, the machine will stop if something is wrong with the milk. And um, we basically can follow every minute what, what's going on. La línea azul es la cantidad de leche, que se ve de 0 litros a 70 litros. Puedo ver cuánto produce. Llevo 14 años trabajando en eh, ganadería. Eh, y la verdad es un mundo, porque uno piensa que la gente tiene sus vacas, comen, pastean afuera, vienen, se ordeñan y se acabó. No, es eh, el trabajar con, con vacas es, número uno, es una gran responsabilidad, porque estos animales, lo único que tienen es a ti, si tú no los atiendes, si tú no los alimentas, si tú no los cuidas, no existen. Y más hoy en día que la calidad de los productos alimenticios son súper importantes, lo que yo como, lo que mis hijos comen y es importante darles a los animales lo mejor para que ellos nos respondan lo mejor. One of the interesting thing about dairy farming is that cow will produce more milk if she is in good condition. To maintain the production of high-quality milk, reproductive health, and well-being in general, producers must provide their animals with the best possible environmental conditions. The cows should not suffer, should always have easy access to fresh water and food, have adequate and comfortable protection, as well as access to a rest area, receive timely and adequate treatment for health issues, avoid stressful situations, and should be protected from predators. Cows must be able to express their normal behavior, have enough space, freedom of movement, and socialize their own hierarchy within the herd. Commercial dairy farms face a great challenge of monitoring and maintaining these conditions. Given that the farms of medium and large sizes find it difficult to visually monitor their herds, these factors are often neglected and cause economic losses to the farm. So the better you treat her, the more milk she would produce. And with our technology, you really know how she feels. When she's uncomfortable, when she doesn't rest, when she's sick, you, you know that, and you can take measures in order to improve. Uh, so we're talking about a business, about a practice, where taking care, good care of the cow is not only good for the cow and for you treating the livestock right, it's also good for your business. ¿Qué hace el animal día a día? ¿Cuál es su rutina? Por lo cual tenemos los podómetros, que es lo que los tags que tienen en las patas las vacas, y esas nos indican qué tan activo está el animal. ¿Qué tanto la, la vaca descansa? ¿Cuándo camina de un lugar a otro? Si algo le molesta, si es que tiene problemas de paz, si está cojeando un animal, si está enfermo, todo eso nos dice la cantidad, el podómetro, este aparatito que casi no le hacemos caso, nos tiene una infinidad de información que gracias a eso, a la hora de juntar los parámetros en el programa, nos podemos saber si la vaca está sana, si la vaca está por parir, si el parto viene difícil o no, El mismo aparato me dice, me manda al celular un mensaje y me dice, ojo, la vaca 775 está por parir. Again, for lameness, as I explained, some of the time we are finding them even before the cow actually shows she's lame. She already had pains, she starts to change her behavior. So this is the future. The future is to find more disease earlier and also specify the disease. We want to give the... the, the farmer the information, this cow is sick with ketosis, this is mastitis, this is lame, this is subacute ruminal acidosis, this is digestive problem, so it can already go and start the treatment and not 
try to understand which disease is there. Yo, como ganadero, voy a ver físicamente qué pasa, me fijo, veo que no pasa nada, me voy. A la hora, dos horas, me vuelve a mandar un mensaje, ojo, algo está mal. Es el momento de llegar o traer veterinario o actuar para poder eh, rescatar a la vaca, eso solo es en partos. ¿Cuándo se produce la leche? Cuando la vaca se acuesta a rumear. Es súper importante saber cuánto tiempo del día la vaca se está echada rumeando, porque ahí es la producción de leche y eso el sistema me lo dice. Si la vaca la tengo suelta, o si estoy cenando con mi familia, o si, no sé nada. Aquí el sistema está todo en línea, conectado, con cada vaca, cada 15 minutos, el sistema agarra toda la información del tag y la trae a la computadora. Entonces tengo vaca por vaca por vaca por vaca. ¿Qué es lo que pasa en línea? Mientras está pastando, cuando está descansando. ¿Ves? En 50 días puedes ver que cada 21 días tiene su celo. What is uh, very interesting and very broadly used in, uh, in, South, in South America is practice of grazing. In, in most of South America, the cows are part of the time in the farm and part of the time grazing outside. You don't see them, you don't watch them, uh, and you don't control what, what, what they are eating. So this, uh, basically many, many, many of the farmers are supplementing the, the feed in uh, when the cows are coming into the parlor they giving they, they give them supplements now if you know better what the cows have ate what the cows are eating how the cows are producing uh, producing milk you can tune the the supplements accordingly now the supplements is 70% of the of the farms of the farms cost this is just one example how uh, uh, technological uh, precision dairy can help in uh, in a grazing country one example is South Africa, where 40% of the cows there are managed by Athamilk technology. This has increased its production three times more than that of any other country that has grazing cattle. And over time, we see improvement in performance. So a cow that used to produce five tons or six tons of milk a year would then produce eight and nine tons of milk per year, per cow. Uh, and in many places around the globe, we see very big farms improving uh, dramatically their performance and therefore also their profitability. Because again, the cow would eat about the same amount of feed and drink the same amount of water every day. The question is how much milk she will produce. We are dairy farmers ourselves. And we have a lot of knowledge and, and interest in developing technology for this world. So this company is the only one in the world that is focusing on the combination of technology and dairy farming practices. This is what we do for a living. We put a lot of money in research and development and we have amazing products allowing dairy farmers to use that technology in order to then practice how they perform as dairy farmers in their farms. Uh, for that to happen, you need sensor technology, as you can see here, uh, to collect data from the farm, and you need many years of software development to be able to analyze this data and provide the dairy farmer with inside information and decision-making tools for the dairy farmer to make decisions. Yo lo veo como... Pues como una misión, estoy alimentando una nación con mis productos. O sea, yo, mi, le mi leche se va y alimentas toda, la, toda, toda una nación. Eh, es responsabilidad tanto con los animales, tanto como para la gente. Y es gracias a las tecnologías que hay hoy en día. I think that uh, the best that you can give or to do to your cows, uh, make their life, their life better. I mean, the cows' life better. So you don't have to bother them and you don't have to um, go inside the group and look for them if, if they eat, you know, to, to cause, um, to disturb them. So 
if you have the technology, you could just give their life, their, give them better life, and uh, I think it's good for the cow. La gente le gusta su rutina. Cuando se cambia la rutina y de repente tengo que empezar a poner podómetros y de repente tengo que poner pesadores y de repente tengo que, que ver y aprender un sistema nuevo y de repente tengo que cambiar mi rutina, es difícil. Pero en el momento que uno agarra la onda, como dice en México, y empieza a saber, me levanto en la mañana, me voy a la computadora, tengo gráfica de celos, tengo gráfica de enfermedades. Va a ser un automático. Aunque no llegues directo a trabajar, estoy con la casa, acaba de cenar, agarro la computadora, me meto a la computadora, ¿qué pasó? Mañana tengo que seminar a esta, esta, esta. Mañana viene el doctor, esto, esto, esto. Esta no ha parido, hay un problema. Me hago mi lista de trabajo. Llego y nada más digo, tú te dedicas a esto, tú te dedicas a esto, tú te dedicas a esto. Y tengo más tiempo para preocuparme en, en qué puedo hacer mejor mi granja. I just think that the use of technology can actually help. Many farmers are afraid of technology because they think I'm not well, uh, I, I don't want to work with computers, it will take too much time. No, it's actually the, the opposite. You spend maybe a little bit more time uh, looking at the computer, but then you will have more time to, to, to deal with the cow that actually needs to be dealt. And you are not spending a lot of time to looking for this cow. You will get a very short list of the cow that needs attention, and you will go and you have more time to deal with this cow and also with the other cow, which is not sick now, but you can deal with the farm. Eventually, if you build the best technology in the world, but then it's not accessible to people, people will not use it. This, this is our belief. So we are investing, uh, I would say, the biggest part of our R&D resources in the last two years and probably in the coming two, three, four, uh, four years, was in making the technology as user-friendly as possible. <coughs> now, making it as user-friendly has a few aspects to it. One is that instead of giving you raw data, and then you will need to understand the data, learn, and eventually make decisions, we will give you the actual decisions. So for example, instead of telling you that the cow pattern of behavior is abnormal and maybe and, and, and teach you how to deduce from it that she is calving, we simply send you an SMS notification, the cow, the cow is starting to calf. Uh, another aspect is mobile applications. We are, uh, we are introducing more and more mobile applications, so the farmer, all the daily tactic decisions that he has to do in the farm when he's looking at the cows, he can do using an using a intuitive mobile application that it takes about five minutes to learn, even if he's not very well computer uh, educated. El ganadero se levantaba en la mañana, salía con los caballos, ordeñaba y se iba a dormir. Y las generaciones nuevas, y por exigencia de los padres mismos, es ve a estudiar. Si alguien en la vida sea un doctor, sea un arquitecto, Y ser eh, ganadero no era algo que digamos que no se veía bien. Es ganadero, eres ahí del campo. Y hoy en día, gracias a que existen estas compañías como AFIFARM, es high tech, es alta tecnología y es computación y es genética y es nutrición. We started by measuring milk. We introduced a sophisticated uh, software. We are now already in design of algorithms that can predict the future, not only tell you which cow is sick at the moment, but what will be the yield of the cow in the next year, so you can decide which cow to keep and which cow to call out of the herd and improve your genetics. Uh, and one of the next big steps is robotization and automation of whole parlors, not just small robots that can feed, uh, that can milk 60 animals, but robots that can milk uh, 500 and 5,000 and 15,000 animals in a day. And this is where we're going. Some of the future we are already done. 
it's not like in the past that you needed to be very professional. Now it's it's for everyone. Just can use it easily. Nuestro reto es dar lo mejor y hacer lo mejor para para los animales para poder sobrevivir. Y es lo que es lo que hace Afifarm. Darnos la tecnología para para que esto siga y siga de muy buena calidad. Interesting about Latin America is that in many ways this process of adapting technology is in its infancy. It's in the beginning. So we are hoping to see in the next 20 years dramatic change in Latin America that we saw in Europe, in the US and in Israel. Thank you.